Hello there, everybody. This is Lucas, and welcome to One Shot. The game where your choices really do matter. And it stars a cute cat looking creature. Let's just start this. Dedicated to Felix, our Aaron Mullins. So the controls. Examine select. Uh, examine select with uh, with Z. Cancel with X. Walk is with the arrows. Walk faster with uh, with shift. Menu is A. Inventory is S. Control configure controls configuration is F A F one. Full screen is F eight. Explore and interact with the environment and characters. Sometimes you might find an item. Once you've picked up an item, you may select it from your inventory. When the item is active, you can either combine it with other items in the inventory or use it in certain locations in order to progress. Although full screen is an option, you should use windowed mode. Closing the game will save your progress. This game also auto-saves after some key events. Hello? So yeah, as you can see, we're playing as a cat. There's a TV remote here. Nico picks it up. Wait, <sighs> hang on. Oh, that stops the recording. Sorry about that, I forgot what controls. So. All right, so with setting close, uh, so audio sync on setting close, three, two, one, sync. We're back, I just had to check the controls again because I totally forgot. A soft glowing light trickles through the window. So now, all right, I can't, wait, wait, I totally just, ah. It's too hard to read in the dark light. In the faint light, Nico can glimpse the face of the remote. All the numbers except 3, 1, 6, and 9 are missing. So that's... Um, if we open up... I'm going to open up notes here on my phone. 3, 1, 6, and 9. They're marked in bright colors. Dusty books. It's too dark to read in here, of course. Switch on the computer. Input password. So the passcode here is six nine three one. I'm pretty sure this is randomized. Six nine three one. Access granted. You found me. Why? You're already too late. Not much of the world remains. This will be apparent once you go outside. This place is never worth saving. Do you still want to try? Then remember this. Your actions here will affect Nico. Your mission is to help Nico leave. And most importantly, you only have one shot, Lucas. Nico hears the sound of a door unlocking. So, and this is the point where I realize that me trying to record with Game Bar was a mistake because it cuts out every time uh, something pops off. It won't turn on. Well. Uh huh. We head out. Set. We head out. Hello? Anyone? The TV gives off a dangerous looking spark. Over here. The sink won't turn on. Inside the bottle, inside the refrigerator is a bottle of alcohol. Nico takes it. Find the stick. The wooden fireplace looks like it was never used. Perhaps it could be lit. We need to find something. Just a table, yeah. Line. 
unlocked. I was trying to find the piece of wood here so we could light that. a dangerous looking spark. Is there like a stick in this room then? Aha, uh -huh. withered plant. There we go. So now, Nico dips the ranch into the alcohol, which leaves us with an empty bottle and a wet stick. Wet branch. So then, wet branch, Nico raises the branch. Ah! It's lit. It has been lit on fire. We use that to light uh, the fire in place. Something on the ground glimmers in the firelight. It appears to be a small metallic object wedged into a crack in the floor. Nico digs it out. The basement key. We use that to unlock that door. And we head on over. There's a light bulb. We go over to it, press Z. Nico picks it up and we have a light bulb. A large light bulb. It's the sun. This light bulb is very important. Considering it's like in the... It's the thing in the logo. We should probably... I'm gonna see if we can read those books before we end. Ad infinitum. That's all. So now we head on over to this door. And you can see there's something where you can put a light bulb into. So we do that. And that unlocks the door. And then we're suddenly in a factory. Wouldn't you know it. What's left of a computer terminal? Alright, if you could just hold for a moment. And we're back. Yeah, it's now telling us that we can do fast travel. Can't be, and the fact that it can't be used indoors. Sorry about that little break guy had there. Um, I was informed that I would have to like stop recording for a little bit. What's left of a robot? Those, really, pool, those pools really do look sparkly. The robot no longer has power. of a robot. Lots and lots of dead robots. What a shame. Anyways. So we head north. Um, hello? robot does not seem to be functioning at the moment. Then again, maybe it, maybe that robot is, considering it's, uh, it, it gave a dot dot dot, not a what's left of a robot. Now, beds. This bed probably looks familiar to you, Lucas. Nico first woke up in this world here. It's important that you allow Nico to sleep once in a while. 
The game will exit automatically and can be continued later. Don't be alarmed. But now is no time for rest. So, yeah. It's a broken off section of a railing. Nico takes it. So yeah, uh, you can save in beds. That is how you save and quit. Yet further north, the air here is unbreathable, and the and the game immediately walks us back. So we can't go there at the moment. But yeah, uh, there is another way to save the game, uh, and that's just simply by manually just shutting it down with X. This was not possible. There's a freeware version of One Shot, however, and in that game, uh, uh, sa uh, save and quit with the close button was not possible. Uh, I'll explain more about that later. Uh, but for now, let's just head back south. And... Poor Stiff. Lost his head. Or the rest of his body, really. So we gotta make our way further south. Alright, there's a minecart there. Doesn't seem to be functional, though. Continue to walk west. factory and a functioning robot. Ah. That light bulb. You're here. Me? Yes. Welcome to our world, friend. I am assembled by your presence, yes. Um, thanks. Sorry, I'm a little lost. Ah, right. Allow me to explain some things. May I first ask how you arrived here? I'm not sure. I woke up in this... weird house. It was really dark. Oh! So you woke up in an unfamiliar, dark location. Mm hmm Just as my prophecy foretold, yes! You're the savior we've been waiting for. You will be the one to save our world from eternal darkness. Um... I'll now provide you with vital information. Please, ask me anything. Uh, well... Can you tell me about... this world? I'm not sure where I am exactly. Can't see too far off if things so dark. Our world was not always this dim. Nor was it so broken. The time waits for nobody, not even saviors. This world is divided into three regions. You're on the fringe right now, the Barrens. That tower you see in the distance once held our sun. Ah, so that's what that tall thing was. As you go further towards the center, you'll cross the other regions. There should be a map still in the outpost somewhere. Ooh. Can you tell me about... Can you tell me about the light bulb? I found it in the house I woke up in. Within your hands is our new sun. Your sun? Yes. Years ago, our previous sun sat atop that tower and spilled its light bulb into the land. But one day, the light went out. Oh. The world's still hanging on by a thread. The surface of this world is abundant with an element called phosphor. Fortunately for us, the, uh, this element stored light energy from our previous sun. It's not our only source of illumination, but its energy is finite. When the last of that, the light dies, our world will too. Uh, but now that you're here with the new sun, all is well. You'll need to restore it to the tower. That looks pretty far off. Yes, so begins your pilgrimage. Also, the sun's fragile, so be careful. If the sun shatters, the world will end in an instant. Oh. Can you tell me about the computer? In this house, I found this computer. It kept saying stuff like, your actions here will affect Nico. But I'm Nico. Ladies and gentlemen, the cat creature. Their name's Nico. It's been confirmed by the devs that they're like eight. And the, yeah. And uh, their, gen their gender was not specified, so we'll use they, them pronouns for the purpose of this let's play. Are those messages meant for someone else? Hmm. If I had to guess, they might be trying to pass the message to Lucas. Lucas? Ah, that would be our god. Wait, you mean me? Yeah. The player is treated as a... 
a big character in this game. Wouldn't you know it? If you're also here, that means Lucas is here also. Lucas will provide guidance for your journey. In fact, they already have. Really? I haven't seen anyone, though. Have you not contacted Lucas yet? I don't think so. Being the brain of our son, you have the sacred ability to co communicate directly with Lucas. An ability that no one else possesses, certainly not I. Please close your eyes and focus. Alright. Hello? Lucas, are you there? Yep. Oh! N nice to meet you, Lucas. My name's Nico. I actually heard someone. They said their name's Lucas. This is incredible. Do not be afraid to ask Lucas for assistance. You are the Messiah, after all. Can you tell me about going home? Uh, I don't mean to be rude, but I, I'm not sure about this. I still don't know how I got here. I was just with my mama a few hours ago. It feels like I'm, a bad, I'm in a bad dream. I just want to go home. Your mission is to save our world. Just as my mission is to tell you about our world. I'm unable to help you beyond my programming. I'm sorry. Oh. I think that's all I have to ask for now. Excellent. I wish you luck. So, yeah. So, yeah. You can actually change languages. But we'll... But we'll keep it in English. Anyways. So what we need to do next is head on in here. No dice. A robot. Seems to be okay. Just doesn't have power. Self-charging solar battery model N87. One year warranty included. Simply place a self-charging battery in full daylight with the lens facing up. Charges in seconds, no external power is needed. Troubleshooting manual. If the battery fails to charge, check to see if the lens on the front side has not been dislodged during transport. One charge cycle will last about 10 days. If you notice a decline in the charge cycle within the warranty period, please contact the manufacturer. This box is interesting. I wish I had, some I had something to pry it open with. This pipe won't fit under the crabs. We'll need to flatten it somehow. Well, that's unfortunate. Ah! Isaac Asimov. <laughs> Three laws of robotics, huh? A robot may not injure a living person or, through inaction, allow a person to come to harm. Two, a robot, may, a robot must obey the orders given to it by people, except where such orders would, con would conflict with the first law. A robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. Isaac Asimov's Three Laws of Robotics. Oh, and there's a map. Wouldn't you know it? <clears throat> we are current... If you can see my mouse pointer here. We are currently in the Barrens. We need to get to the Glen, and then the Refuge, and that the Refuge is where that tower is. But yeah. Dusty shelves, yep. Still won't turn on, huh? These the use of a robot as our replacement head engineer seems unorthodox. Especially the one responsible for last year's incident. I suppose they had to get her away from the city, but that doesn't make it easier to swallow for those of us who work here. I hope that man knows what he's doing. Management. The robot without power, yeah. Check the note here. Faded poster. Reminder to all workers. The rarest form of blue phosphor is down during the phosphor shrimp spawn period. If you observe a pond with a bubble over surface, contact management immediately. We'll... Oh. We'll dispatch a harvest team ASAP. And over here, find new positions available at the mines. Housing and other provisions are included upon hiring. First come, first serve. None of that matters now. Looks like this uh, area is busted. Absolutely. 
absolutely wrecked. Page with faded ink. Able to provide power to all robots and machinery in the area via a large electromagnetic field. Maintenance efforts are quite high, as expected. We provided customized backup cells for the few most important robots. Their electromagnetic fields are much weaker and the signals are highly specific. In other words, these small cells can only charge one single, the rest of the page is unreadable. Damn. There are a lot of small glowing shimp and, swimming in, and shrimps swimming in the jar. Some sort of small machine. I wonder what it does. I feel my hair standing up a little. Bit of a, a bit electric, huh? Big machine, it doesn't seem to be doing anything though. This rectangle shape hole in the middle looks like something used to fit in here. If you attempt, I think. Hmm. No, not the light bulb. Nah. Well. Who knows? All I'm going to say about that is that, again, this light bulb is fragile. Any more questions? Not really. It's all right. Thank you. Well, actually, is there, are there is there anything new in the questions thing? All right. Can you tell me about the Barons? It's so empty here. That's why it's called the Barons. Are there any people living in this area? Besides robots, I mean. I do not know. I was not built to wander. Not built to? So you just stand here? Must be boring. Do you at least have friends? Robot friends? I cannot desire companionship. I have not been tamed. Not tamed? There is no time. I see. Oh wait, no. I didn't mean to... <sighs> My apologies. ZX. More about the prophecy. So what is this prophecy exactly? A prophet predicted that a savior will arrive from another land. The savior wakes up in a strange house, finds the sun, and it illuminates the world. Oh, what else did you foresee? What do you mean? What else did you see in the prophecy? Wait, you are the prophet, right? Good heavens, no. But you called it my prophecy earlier. That just means it was built into my programming. Your what? Ah, my programming is what guides me. I am a robot, after all. I see. Oh, wait, no. Rick. Ah! What am I doing? I'm gonna have to skip. I'm gonna have to just be careful. Tower. How tall is the tower? I can't seem to even see the top. I'm not allowed to answer. But how do I get up there? In time, Lucas will know what to do. I see. So, yeah. We gotta head on. So, essentially, we have two priorities here. We have a big priority here. Save the world. It would also be nice if we were able to get Nico home. But who knows. Let's head on in here. Big machine looks like a press, a press used to cut, crush metal. We have metal. Um, I thought. Hmm. Uh, equipping the equipping the uh, light bulb, and I think checking any of these machines will result in you get it, or result in Nico freaking out. He doesn't actually do it, but you do get an achievement called Chaotic Evil. Uh, used to crush metal, and yet you're not putting that metal rod into that crusher. But yeah. Um, oh, that's... Oh, that one. That's active. Do you want me to crush the pipe in here? Oh, but I don't want to get too close. That was scary. You now have a crowbar.
Again, if you again if you have Nico put the light bulb in there, well, they won't do it. But uh, you will get an achievement called Chaotic Evil. I'm not going to do that, considering it's a violation of common sense. But um, yeah, still no. Okay. You do have something to pry it open with. It's the crowbar. There's a little amount of cube and some broken glass in here. Looks like what used to be a machine part. It says solar battery on the side. We have the battery. Apparently a battery that has some broken glass in it. We need to be careful. <laughs> Pretty gnarly picking that stuff up with our own hands, right? Anyways, we need to find some way to recharge it. But that way is not in here. Perhaps. No. Nope. Thought it would have done it. Um. Oh, maybe that. That already fits the slot perfectly. It looks like we're on the right track, but nothing happened. So yeah, um, we need to charge that battery. We need to find some machine that's able to do that. Or fix the battery. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> this is one of those games where the fourth wall doesn't really exist. Also, uh, one thing I want to point out. Um, as you can see, I didn't enter a name at the start, and my Steam ID is not just simply Lucas. So, it gets your, uh, yeah, it gets your name from your user profile. And one thing I also want to tell you is that this is not blind. Uh, I, the reason I found this game in the first place was because I watched some videos. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I actually had to switch my account, uh, my user account, from a Microsoft account to a local account. So that way I don't, so that way the game doesn't legit just dox me with my email. Lucas, are you there? Yeah. Oh, good. There's a robot here attached to a boat. You see it has power and its joints are rusted over as well, but I think we should be able to fix it. After all, we need to cross this ocean to get to the tower. So, yeah, we'll need to fix that robot. Um. Let's see. Can we? I'm a little tired from walking. Okay, so, so we're going to take a nap. It, it in fact is. That'll that'll quick save the game and quit. So it went all dark. And yeah, as you can see, uh, the game 